So Crime Stoppers has launched a county line campaign and today we're in Warwickshire and we're trying to raise awareness of what county lines is and give people an idea of how they can look out for signs in relation to county lines and then how they can report anonymously to the charity Crime Stoppers. I'm delighted that uh, this campaign is being launched here in Warwickshire. We have three locations. We've got Stratford this morning, then moving on to Leamington and then finally ending up in Dunedin in the north. So it covers the whole county and I hope that because it's being done locally this will it will give some recognition to the locality and the, and the fact that the county lines do happen in Warwickshire and that we need to do something about it. So county lines is whereby we have a variety of different crime types underneath the banner of county lines. It is where drugs and various uh, drug gangs uh, exploit young people and vulnerable individuals from overtaking people's homes, which is known as cuckooing, right the way through to exploiting young people to carry and sell drugs on their behalf. I'd like this campaign to reach as far as possible into all of our communities so that they understand that there is somebody there to report strange goings on which could lead to the reduction in county lines and drug supply to our county. In relation to young people, we would ask people to look out for those who maybe are supposed to be in school environments during the daytime and are travelling unexpectedly out of the county. Obviously with the summer holidays now, it's slightly harder to see those particular individuals. What we would say is if they are people who wouldn't ordinarily have very nice trainers and access to quite a large amount of money, that we would ask them to ask some questions to check that they are okay. Uh, usually when young people are caught up in county lines they are provided with goods and services and money as a starting point before then the um, ask of them increases and they become increasingly concerned for their own welfare and people around them. So they don't always talk to somebody so it's ensuring that that young person is okay. In relation to vulnerable individuals there may be people who are uh, possibly light drug users it might well be that they are usually um, occupying the home with themselves and their family or just themselves and now they've got a number of people taking it over their home and in that instance we would ask that they either contact the police directly or if they feel that they would prefer to remain anonymous to contact the charity Christ office. It's extremely important that there is an anonymous reporting line so that if you're worried about somebody maybe local maybe a neighbour maybe a, re a relative you're concerned about things that are going on and you want the police to know this can be done completely anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers is very easy to contact. Uh, we are available 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. We provide a translation service of up to 150 languages on our phone number, which is 0800 555 one. Alternatively, people can go on to an anonymous reporting website, which is crimestoppers-uk.org, and on there you can also find out some other signs to look out for in relation to county lines. 